Hello everybody, welcome back to the shop. Ten more minutes, doesn't she part making action? Of course you didn't think I was gonna make a video today, did you? <laughs> that Bob loves it again, ain't he? No. I got all kinds of stuff. I got my yard work done today. I got that F14 box all cut up and uh, sent off with the trash so it can't go back in the box. <laughs> I had to cut that thing up to where it fit my trash can. And then I mowed my yard and I glued these together this morning. Okay, our vacuum bagging on that stretchy plastic on that eighth inch wood did not work. <laughs> that was some Bob O'Neill and gone bad there, baby. <laughs> oh, it's just, it was pushing them molds through that wood. You see? It was, and then there's another one spot down there. It was actually pushing them molds through that wood. That vacuum was so powerful. I was just amazed. I panicked. I ripped them out of there. The resin was still really wet, you know, because it was right after I made that video. And I put it in a bag. I don't think it hurt anything, but we're going to see. I did live on Bob TV. Why? I show you the good and I show you the bad. Well, if you're going to do that, it'd probably work if you had some three-quarter inch malamine or something like that. You know, but I just put them in a bag. It wasn't worth it. You know, I just want to use that stretchy plastic is what I was doing. You know, a new, better way. It works all right for them long ones. I don't know. Flat. Okay. Probably better for like a few lodges and stuff like that. We've had several pulls now. Let's watch how easy these come apart. I think my resin was kind of thin, so I think I got a lot of seepage around the edges. So. But it's just walk right out. And that, for some reason, I didn't notice that green did it so bad, but my pardol is actually staining the mold. See, because I had that taped off. It might just be staining the wax. I bet you that's what it is. I bet you. Peace. Huh, a little bit down there. Not bad. I thought they'd be scrapped there for a while. <laughs> Check out know, this blade, man. Uh, when I was out looking for razor blades, you know, to see what trim them edges were, look what I found. This is like a monster beast. <laughs> you can probably get. I think this is probably a felony to carry this thing around. This thing is dangerous, man. It's like a samurai sword. Oh, we got 
get that other one for the time for no pyramid. I got one more layup, people, and I'm done with flaps and ailerons. Can you believe it? Can I get a wee hoo? Can I get a wee hoo? Wee hoo. A beautiful part right there. Wouldn't you guys say? Nice and smooth and shiny. Oh, that's my part, although it'll wash off. It'll be that smooth, though. Well, that's it for this episode of Bob TV. Thanks for tuning in. Invert Mask. Give us an update on. Oh, you want to know what happened there? I was fired until I watched that video from Lip River Dave. <laughs> first cut and how long I've been making these videos on YouTube but it's a little tiny baby cut it was, didn't even warrant a band-aid so I stuck a piece of tape on it <laughs> thanks lip ripper Dave I was fine till I seen that video you guys need to go check it out <laughs> but 